my friends, today is Monday, January 4th. And as we start a new year, I was actually asked by somebody recently, uh, what is my guiding philosophy or, or what is my guiding theology, my understanding of God in, in my life and, and in the world? And it is this, that the Holy Spirit of God will meet each one of us every single day and help us to become the best human, human being we can be that day. And that every morning we get this new opportunity to accept, to invite the Holy Spirit into our lives and follow the Holy Spirit as the Spirit guides us. You know, at the beginning of each new year, a lot of people still make resolutions. All of the things they're going to do better this year, all of the things they're going to do different this year, things that uh, we want to happen this year. Lose the extra 10 pounds. Uh, take care of our finances a little bit better. And it's usually things like that. Go to the gym. And those are often based on something negative, meaning I, I didn't lose weight last year or I didn't go to the gym enough last year, or I was very uh, not, I was careless with my money last year. I didn't save what I wanted to. And I think if we're gonna make any re resolutions at all, they should be the things that the Holy Spirit can actually give us, that God actually wants us to have. And that is more compassion, more love, more care, and not, only for other people, but also for ourselves, because that's where it really needs to begin. More self-care, more self-compassion, more self-love. The guiding scripture that I often turn to in my life, if I had to pick one, it's an easy one to remember. It is John 10.10. 10. When Jesus tells his disciples, a thief only comes to steal and destroy, but I have come to give you life and life in abundance. It seems like so much was stolen from us or destroyed in our lives in 2020. And we look forward to a new year, hoping that those things will either be restored or something new will be built. But no matter what happens, it is through the Holy Spirit of God that anything happens in our lives at all and that we should rely upon the Holy Spirit to help us be the best we can be today, to do the things that are possible for us to do today, to be the best we can today. It's another scripture, uh, I think it's in Romans chapter eight, where Paul uh, says that he doesn't even know how to pray doesn't know what to pray for, but relies upon the Holy Spirit to intercede, intercede amongst our groaning, he calls. Sometimes that's what it feels like prayer is. I don't even know what to say. It's just a bunch of groaning to God. And it doesn't matter as long as we know that that Holy Spirit will come to us. So as we go into a new year, and especially on this first Monday of the new year, be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Find compassion in your heart. Compassion that is planted there by the Holy Spirit of God. Will you pray with me, please? Holy One, as we enter into a new year, help us to focus on this day. Help us to ground us in this very hour, this very minute. When you reach out to us, offer us your spirit to guide us not only in our minutes and our days, but in all of our thoughts and our actions. We ask you this in the name of everything that is holy. Amen.